traces of life from 2.5 billion years ago discovered inside a ruby. By analyzing some of the world's oldest gemstones, scientists at the University of Waterloo have discovered a carbon deposit in a 2.5 billion year old ruby that holds evidence of life on Earth. Rubies, shiny, red gemstones made of a transparent mineral, a variety of corundum. They are formed under the influence of intense heat and pressure at the boundaries of the Earth's tectonic plates, where the necessary environment is created. The stones owe their red color to the presence of a rare element, chromium. The more of it there is, the more red the gem will be. Like all minerals, rubies also vary in purity and transparency. In the process of formation, impurities or inclusions in precious gems may appear. This can make such stones unsuitable for jewelry, but they are invaluable to science. The oldest rubies on our planet come mainly from Greenland. While examining one such stone, a group of scientists found graphite inside the gem, a form of carbon that scientists say may be the remnants of ancient microbial life. The description of the new research was published in the journal or Geology Reviews. A research team led by Chris Yakimchuk of the University of Waterloo in Ontario, Canada set out to study the geology of rubies to better understand the conditions necessary for their formation. While exploring Greenland, home to the world's oldest known ruby deposits, the team found a stone containing graphite. Analysis of the sediment suggested that it was a remnant of early life. Graphite can be formed abiotically, i.e. in physiochemical processes. But it can also be formed by biological processes. One way to tell the difference is to identify the individual isotopes of carbon which are forms of the same element but differ in the number of neutrons in the nucleus and therefore have different masses. Over 98% of carbon on the planet has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. But some carbon atoms are heavier and have a mass of 13 or 14 atomic mass units. After analyzing the ratio of different carbon isotopes in the graphite, the team concluded that the precipitate discovered in the ruby was of biological origin. According to scholars, it arose from an ancient life form. The graphite inside this ruby is really special. For the first time, we see evidence of ancient life in it, Yakimchuk said in a statement. Living matter is preferentially composed of lighter carbon atoms because their incorporation into cells requires less energy. Based on the increased amount of carbon-12 in this graphite, we concluded that these carbon atoms were once life. Most likely microorganisms such as cyanobacteria, Yakimchuk said. At the time this microorganism was probably alive, the planet didn't have much oxygen, an element necessary for complex life. Life on Earth 2.5 billion years ago was extremely limited. The only thing that could survive back then were tiny microbes. Cyanobacteria are believed to be among the first forms of life on Earth. And over billions of years of converting sunlight into energy, they gradually produced the oxygen necessary for the eventual evolution of complex life. This ruby with graphite sediment although according to the authors of the study, contains evidence of life on Earth as early as 2.5 billion years ago, it is not the oldest evidence of life on our planet so far. Some studies point to fossils dating back 3.5 billion years, suggesting they are the remains of ancient microorganisms. This issue is widely discussed in the scientific community. And this dispute will probably continue until there is irrefutable evidence. Apart from that, the gemstone in question is certainly the first ruby in which traces of ancient life have been found. 
The presence of graphite also gives us more clues to how the rubies formed at this location, which is impossible to do directly from the color and chemical composition of the ruby, said Yakim Chu. The original goal of the research, i.e. understanding the processes leading to the formation of rubies, has been partially achieved. Scientists believe that it is very likely that graphite is necessary for the formation of rubies. As the researchers admitted, it changes the chemistry of the surrounding rocks and creates favorable conditions for the development of these red gemstones. As the models showed, without graphite, it would not have been possible for rubies to form, at least as far as the oldest known ruby deposits in Greenland are concerned. Sculptures, statues and a lead sarcophagus discovered beneath the fire damaged Notre Dame Cathedral. During excavations under one of the symbols of Paris, archaeologists found ancient tombs. Sculptures and statues, including a lead sarcophagus that was buried in the heart of a fire-damaged monument. Fragments of walls dating back to the 13th century were also discovered. French experts described the discovery as, remarkable and exciting. We discovered all these treasures just 10 to 15 centimeters under the floor slabs. It was completely unexpected. There were unique fragments documenting the history of the monument, said Christophe Besnia, who led the team conducting the excavations. It was a very exciting experience. Suddenly we had several hundred objects, from small fragments to large blocks, including sculpted hands, feet, faces, architectural decorations and plants. Some of them were still in color, says Besnia. The discovery was revealed by the French National Archaeological Institute in RAP last week. A team of scientists conducted excavations from February to April last year. He had to do it before the construction of over 30 meters high scaffolding, which was then set up in order to renovate the monument and its spire. Notre Dame Cathedral suffered from a fire that broke out in April 2019. One of the discoveries made as a result of archaeological excavations after the fire were fragments of the original screen, i.e. a decorative partition between the presbytery and the nave, which separated the clergy and the choir from the gathered faithful. In Catholic churches, most similar walls were removed during the Counter-Reformation in the 16th and 17th centuries. It seems that various parts of the Notre Dame screen were carefully hidden under the floor of the cathedral during the renovation of the building by Eugene Viollet le Duc, who added a spire to the temple in the mid-19th century. In addition, archaeologists found an intact fragment of a sculpture depicting a man's head. Researchers believe it is a representation of Jesus carved in stone. Another rock block from the 13th century is a monument in the Gothic style. Researchers had little time and a small area to excavate. In April 2019, a fire destroyed the 850-year-old cathedral, which is one of the most symbolic and most visited monuments in Paris. The fire almost destroyed the entire building, and French President Emmanuel Macron pledged that within five years it would be rebuilt and opened to the faithful. The deadline seems to be met. Besnia said several other screen panels under the floor had been identified, but they were outside the designated excavation area. We know that they are there and will not be damaged. We hope to discover them at a later date, he said. The excavations also uncovered a network of heating pipes that had been installed under the floor in the 19th century. Researchers also excavated a lead sarcophagus, which may contain the body of a high church official, probably from the 14th century. A camera inserted into the coffin revealed that there were plant remains, hair and pieces of fabric under the deceased's head. 
However, there was no plaque identifying the deceased on the coffin. Inrap boss Dominique Garcia said further research, including DNA testing, would be carried out. The sarcophagus containing the human body is not an archaeological object. These are human remains. And when examining the sarcophagus and analyzing the body and other objects inside, we must do so with respect, he added. No decision has yet been made on where the body will be reburied after the examination is completed. It's too early to tell. It is possible that it will be reburied somewhere in the cathedral. Garcia said, 